What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever freaking time of day it is. I hope you have the best day ever today and each and every single day of your life. Today um, was a bittersweet day for me. This is our championship um, round for the softball girls. We did not win first. We lost. Um, bittersweet um, in more than one way one I don't have anything to look forward to Monday as of right now because I will not have this to take over my afternoon two we didn't get first place and um, I don't know about you guys or anybody else but we always want to get first or I have the mentality of you want to be first place if you're not first you're last but along those lines, the memories that I have because of this, the opportunity that I had, the lessons that I learned from this, um, the knowledge that people shared with me through this, um, the patience I learned, the working with kids, the, the opportunity the parents gave me to work with their children was all more than I could ever ex expect from anyone and I'm beyond grateful to have had that opportunity and, it, and the memories will be in my mind and in my heart forever. It was fun, it was a challenge, it was something that got me out of my comfort zone because it was things that I was not used to doing. And at the end of the day, that's what life is truly about, about being uncomfortable and doing the things that challenge you. And the only way for you to grow is to be outside of your comfort zone because that's how you challenge yourself as an individual and as a person and you learn to grow to better yourself. But um, I know I um, hopefully will have the opportunity to do this again. I've, you know, um, got thrown into this situation because I wanted to do it. And it was a great experience and, and it's something that I do enjoy and I enjoy seeing the kids grow and become um, better individuals and and you see their talent grow over time um, which is always awesome but um, as for today I don't know what's gonna be going on it's already late here um, and um, I just got home and I'm running on uh, like three hours of sleep. That's nobody's fault, that's my own. So I'm gonna try to get my workout in, get some things done, and maybe I will vlog the rest of today to have something to post, and I still have my video to post from yesterday. I'm behind in all sorts of way, but it's all worth it because life is good, and I don't sweat the small stuff anymore. Or I try not to, so do the same. But let's keep today kicking and going, and let's kick it off. What up, what up, what up, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever freaking time of day it is, I hope you have the best day ever today and each and every single day of your life. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, honestly, I've been lagging ass the last like two days. Not because I need to or because I should or because I want to. Um, well, yeah, that's the actually the third one is the reason why, because I want to. So here's what happened this weekend. Starting from Friday to Sunday, which is today, I have slept like a total of like six hours. Um, I wasn't really home at all, so I didn't really vlog. Um, like I tell you guys all the time is I'm learning to live in the moment and sometimes it requires me not even to look at my phone like not even to take it out not even to worry about checking it it just requires me to just be where I'm at and just laugh and enjoy everything for what it is and um I guess not regret anything um, so, I guess I do things that 
I normally wouldn't do or I, I haven't done in a long time and I guess it sometimes it means not sleeping or or staying up um, for multiple days or whatever I'm just trying to spend time with friends and family and get to know people and expand my horizon and do things that make me uncomfortable and things that I don't want to do um, to grow as an individual but we're we're back to to pretty much the week process I'm getting ready to head out and uh, go to the gym and get my workout in and then I think I'm gonna go on a hike too it's late here because I kind of like I said I hadn't slept in a while oh slept in a while so it's kind of like one of those things where um I slept it well supposedly slept in till nine today but I didn't really sleep in because I didn't get home till 5 a.m but um so I slept in till nine and then I woke up and edited a video and then I kind of just lounged around I made myself some breakfast some coffee and just chilled and enjoy the, the Sunday Sunday fun day, the Sunday lazy day. Um, and I kind of just been chilling in my room, but we'll see what we can get into today. But I am going on a hike, but I'm gonna hit the gym real quick, get a little pump in, a little burn, and then we'll keep the day going today. Yeah, yeah. So I finally got up and around and um, um, got some stuff done. I got a quick little workout in, and now I'm gonna head up and hit up a trail or a little hike real quick. Um, to get outside for, for a little bit since I've been home all day. Um, get your sleep. That's what I have to say today. Make sure to go hard. I'm not saying don't go hard. I'm saying remember to recharge. Because sometimes you think you have to go, 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 go. And you forget that it's okay to have some downtime, some relaxed time, some recharge the batteries times where you just lay down and enjoy a lazy day. I like to go, 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 and I like to always be on the move and not waste my day, but sometimes you need a little bit of time to recover. It's been an amazing two weeks, so I'm not taking anything away from that, but I think next week I need to lay low and um, just relax and, and um, recharge my batteries for a change instead of constantly going, especially because I have a few more trips coming up next month. So. If you are a busy body, don't forget to recharge. But I'm about to go hit a trail, so let's get out of here. What up, everybody? So I had a busy day. Um, <clears throat> I did go on a hike. Things had to kind of change. Um, living in Southern California, I've learned that um, sometimes your plans just need to change, and they change at a very rapid rate. And I can't stress out about it or get upset or angry because it doesn't do me any good. I just need to go with the flow of things and and kind of um, um, learn to adapt quickly and, and I don't know, things like that. Like you learn to get through things and that's what the small stuff. So I did go on a hike. Um, the hike was short and then um, ended up going to San Pedro and hung out at the beach for a little bit and, and kind of chilled. So it was more of a random kickback day with a bunch of different kind of activities um the vlogging well i just put sand all over the ground i'm gonna have to sweep tomorrow the vlogging's kind of um been difficult to do not because i can't do it because i always have my phone and my tripod and all that stuff with me it's more that i'm learning to let go and and i've never really lived in the moment in my life and and kind of just went with the flow or just you know didn't stress out about everything and every single detail of my life and every aspect and every step and move that I made um I planned everything from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed everything was on a schedule and through this transition I'm learning that I can't schedule everything and my whole life isn't a schedule and sometimes I just have to let go and do things that I'm uncomfortable with and that are out of the normal and it's extremely difficult for me to do. And um, I try to challenge myself and do that more often and it's um, scary to be honest. It's not something that's 
easy for me to do because I'm one of those individuals that likes to plan everything. But I guess my challenge to you guys is to always do something that makes you uncomfortable, something you're scared, something you're nervous about, and try to do that as much as possible um, with the same reminder that I always give you that life is short and tomorrow is never promised. So if someone shoots you an invite or someone tells you if you want to come along to something that you've never been to or someone where you don't know the other people that are going to be around um, or it's something that you claim to have not liked before in the past, do it. Be open-minded and go into the situation open-minded and you might make some amazing new friends. You might like learn that you like this music, this hobby, this this activity you don't know what will come from it. And if you go into everything open-minded, you might be amazed at um, how some little situation or something that you would have said, no, I'm not doing that because I don't like it, might turn out to be one of the best experiences you've ever had. So do that for yourself. Open your mind. Let yourself get out of your comfort zone and do things that challenge you and make you feel scared nervous get put fear in you whatever it might be just do it as always thanks for tuning in and i'll hit you guys up tomorrow um and um hopefully you guys are living life and and being uncomfortable each and every moment that you find that you can be and challenging yourself i'll catch you guys on rico spot tomorrow mm -hmm.